Welcome to What's Good Blog's video review. My name is Jay Boucher and today I'm going to show you the wireless tether app for root users. So this app, after you've rooted your phone, allows you to start wirelessly tethering your 3G data signal from your phone to any device that has wireless that can connect to it. So I'm going to go through some of the settings to show you exactly what it can do. Um, you, you can turn on encryption. Uh, you generally only use WPA, WPA2 passphrases. I don't think it has, supports WEP. Um, SSID is just basically the name of the wireless network that you're creating. And you can change the frequency channel that it uses to, you know, 1 through 12, which is a, the standard channels you can use in America. Um, you can do it over Bluetooth. I have not actually tried it, but you can do this over Bluetooth. Um, but again, I haven't actually tried it. Not really sure exactly what all these uh, LAN settings are. I guess it's for if you want to try to log into your phone through the network from your computer or something like that. Um, and it has a couple, a couple of other apps. Not really sure. I mean, a couple of other. I'm sorry. Uh, settings. Not. I haven't really used any of them. Um, let me see if I have an old log. Uh, Saturday, January eighth. No, that's right now. Okay. No, I don't have an old log. I have used this before. Um, I'm not, I don't have my laptop here to show you what it's like, um, but it, what it does is it'll just start wirelessly tethering it. It's listed as a network. Um, you'll connect to it from your computer, and I've had huge issues with temperature. Like, my battery temperature spiked up to, like, 41, 42 degrees Celsius, which is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it just kept going up, and I had to stop and turn it off after maybe 20 minutes of use. Maybe, maybe less, yeah. Um... The reason this happened, I'm pretty sure, is because I had an awful data signal while I was using it. I was using it inside a building, like inside the inside of a building, and it was I had a bad data signal, kept going from 3G to 1X. Um, but it it did get really hot, and I had to stop it after 20 minutes. Um, the speed, when it was working well, was decent. Um, not the speed you'd expect with cable, maybe, maybe the speed you would expect with DSL. But... Um, it was okay. And then I'm going to show you this other app, so Barnacle Wi-Fi Tether. So I had read comments in the, um, in the uh, what's it called, the uh, reviews of the apps in the market that this app was actually faster than uh, Wi-Fi Tether. Um, what this app does, it doesn't actually create a new wireless network. It creates what's called um, a device-to-device -device network. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to... It shows up on my, on my Mac normally, but it creates a device-to-device -device network. You can actually use uh, WEP encryption instead of WPA in this. I don't think you can actually use WPA in this. Um, and it will... It's not actually... Uh, what's it called? A wireless network. It's a device-to-device -device network. I'm not sure how that changes anything. Um, you can actually uh, use access control with this app, um, restricting it to only certain MAC addresses, which is what I do on my wireless network at home, um, because we're not really worried about people stealing it from a house in the suburb. But um, I thought that was a pretty cool feature instead of having the encryption on it. But um, other than that, it, it seemed a little bit slower. And same thing with the problems with the phone overheating. I actually had to underclock the phone and turn it off at one point because it was just not, it was not cooling down. So, use these at your own risk. Um, they do, they do work, and they do work pretty quickly. But for some reason, my phone just keeps overheating, and I can't really use them. So, take it for what you want. So, if you have any questions, check us out at www.whatsgoodblog.com. Thanks.